Hello Harry Potter fans, Peter Kenneth here. Welcome back to the Potter Collector channel where we are a community of collectors. Today's video is very special. This is something very exciting from one of you guys. Very personal, ton of work was put into it. Cameron, I'm talking about you. So I first met Cameron in London. I did a Potter Collector meetup the first time I went to London and Cameron was there and he brought something with him to give to me and it was this customized, personalized dust jacket cover of Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets that he designed and created and then gifted to me. So this is the book that he he presented to me. Here is the, the back of the dust jacket. It fits on the paperback Johnny Duddle editions. So it's a fan made dust jacket. On the inside was also this doodle of the Basilisk Fang piercing Tom Riddle's diary. And one of the things I noticed was he didn't sign it. He presented me with this piece of art and didn't sign it. So I said, Cameron, please sign this. And he did, so he signed it for me. And also told me that he was creating the other six books for me and was going to send them. Well, they have arrived. I even purchased a set just for his dust jackets. So I'm excited to see and experience these dust jackets for the first time. I just found, oh my goodness, <gasps> wait, this is like preliminary artwork and mock-ups of the dust jacket. He literally sent me everything, all of his design sketches, different lightning bolt sketches. All right, there is a letter Potter mail. Hey man, hope you're doing fantastic. I've included some quick sketches and doodles I did in the development of these covers. Most of them were quickly jotted down on breaks at work, so they may well be nonsensical to anyone but me, but hey, here they are anyway. All right, if any of you know me, you know I love like preliminary artwork from the illustrators of Harry Potter, and this is like heaven for me. This is preliminary artwork that shows the process of creating something. The initial idea came after watching one of your early videos, Bloomsbury Slipcase Editions. That was actually my first video. My first like official I'm starting the YouTube channel video where me, my brother, and my friend who are also fans of your channel discussed how we didn't think the colors of the books matched the colors we related each book to in our heads. We all agreed on five out of seven of the colors which I ended up using. They both thought green and red for Order of the Phoenix and Half-Blood Prince. I've always wanted a set of color-coded Harry Potter books. <laughs> That's awesome. It's nice to have a visual theme throughout similar to the original UK books, but with more of a flow. It was also a great opportunity to illustrate things how I always imagined them in the books, like the Deluminator, advanced potion making, etc. And draw things that, to my knowledge, never appeared in book art, like the Enchanted Gringotts Coin, the Tom Riddle's book of stolen items. Thank you for being such a cool dude and helping me come out of my shell in November at the meetup. Everyone had a great time, and you were all really kind and fun to be around. You are an appreciated member of the Potter community, and I'm glad that more love is being shown to Harry Potter and collecting in general. Keep up with the great content, have a wonderful day, and until next time, keep collecting. This is awesome. I'm so excited to see these things. Okay, I don't know if I should look, I'm not gonna look, well, here I am looking at them. <laughs> So these little, look at these, these little mini versions of the book covers that are right over here to the side of me. And then on the back, some of them have some writing on them, various golden snitch sketches. Here's the original Dementor design that he said was not dynamic enough. Little sketches like this, where it's like uh, the sword coming out of the sorting hat, and could this be for Chamber of Secrets? Some more preliminary designs and artwork, alternative cover designs. I love this sort of thing. Oh, that's cool, the cave scene for Half-Blood Prince as a possibility and then the back cover has the dark mark on it. Oh, the Deluminator. Oh, that's cool. So this would be for Deathly Hollows because it has the snitch and the Deluminator and it says I open up the clothes on the snitch itself. And to send these to me, like, that is so nice. I love having all of these preliminary things with the final product, which I'm very excited to get to. And even more excited to put them on my shelves. All right, here they are. Dun, 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 dun. Ooh. Here is Philosopher's Stone. Each one of them has a quote, and on the back cover of Philosopher's Stone it says, it does not do to dwell on dreams and forget to live. The front cover, of course, has the Philosopher's Stone, 
and the back cover has the sorting hat. He actually showed me one of the design things that he did, which you'll see in a little bit, and I'm seeing the start of it right now. Chamber of Secrets, which you guys saw already. It is our choices that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities, is the quote. And then it has the door to the entrance of the Chamber of Secrets, and the Whomping Willow, and the Fort Anglia. And then Tom's diary is on the spine of that book. The color of Prisoner of Azkaban is really nice. You think the dead we loved ever truly leave us? You think we don't recall them more clearly than ever in times of great trouble? And here is that dust jacket and the time turner. Very cool to see the time turner as you imagined it. And I agree, this Dementor is a lot more dynamic. Goblet of Fire, the quote says, it matters not what someone is born, but what they grow to be. I love that you brought the blue into the Goblet of Fire itself. And it has the Triwizard Cup on the spine, the golden egg, and then the Goblet of Fire on the front cover. I'm going to show these to all of you guys when the books are on, but wanted to go through these covers first. Youth cannot know how age thinks and feels, but old men are guilty if they forget what it was to be young. Here is the front cover, and with that coin that Cameron mentioned, here is Half-Blood Prince. People find it far easier to forgive others for being wrong than being right. It has advanced potion making on it, and TPC Sweet Co. TPC? Does that stand for the Potter Collector Sweet Co? If it does, that's the coolest thing ever. I have a sweet company, the Potter Collector Sweet Co. <laughs> that is awesome. He talked about an Easter egg in his letter, so that must be the Easter egg. And then last but not least is Deathly Hollows. Of course it is happening inside your head, but why on earth should that mean that it is not real? On the front cover it has all seven Horcruxes, with Harry Potter on the bottom, so Harry Potter being the seventh Horcrux. And then it has the three items that the Minister of Magic gave to Harry, Ron, and Hermione from Dumbledore's Will on the back cover. These are absolutely fantastic. All right, I'm gonna pop these open and then pop these open. If you've never seen the Johnny Duddle book covers before, I'll go through them quickly before I put the, the dust jackets on. Here is Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince, Deathly Hollows. The paper is very nice, it has like a cool texture to it. And they're even pre-folded, dude, this is awesome. Check that out. Here they are in all of their glory. One of the things I noticed as I was putting the dust jackets on, the black lettering, so where it says Harry Potter, the line beneath it, as well as the numbers at the bottom, they all fade a little bit as the books go along. That is an awesome design element. They slowly just crumble a little bit as the books get a little bit darker. As I was mentioning, that little secret thing that Cameron told me about, if you put the books together, they create Harry's glasses. So if all seven books are laid out, there's a bunch of Harry Potter glasses that go across the covers. I love the color choices. They're bright. They're gonna look fantastic on my shelves. And I'm gonna go through them one more time in book form. So here's Philosopher's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, Prisoner of Azkaban, I love the Patronus, how it's kind of outlined in different colors. Goblet of Fire, Order of the Phoenix, Half-Blood Prince with the Potter Collector Sweet Co. on the back. That is seriously cool. Guys, I'm on a Harry Potter book. <laughs> That's so awesome. And last but not least, Deathly Hollows. And again, with the seven Horcruxes, so we see all seven Horcruxes, or the six, and then Harry Potter being the seventh at the bottom there. These are very well designed and clearly very well thought out from the quotes to those little design elements that people may not necessarily notice that just add a ton to the finished product. And they're gonna have a permanent home on the Potter Collector shelves here in the Potter Collector Library. Cameron, thank you again. That was so kind, so thoughtful for you to create these and also send along the preliminary artwork for me to have here in my collection. They look fantastic on the shelves and they are a great addition to the Potter Collector Library. Y'all, Cameron deserves some serious love on Instagram, so go give him a follow. His Instagram handle is Cameron underscore Stewart 59. If you have any questions about Harry Potter, Harry Potter collecting or anything else, please feel free to leave a comment down below. You can also join the Potter Collector community on Instagram at the Potter Collector or on Twitter at Potter Collector. Now it's time to like, comment, subscribe, 
and until next time. Hi, I'm Bernadette. I'm from Chicago. Keep collecting. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new here, welcome. You can subscribe right up here. You can also look at some previously posted content down here. If you have any questions about Harry Potter books or collecting, please feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help. But for now, I must go. See you next time. Whoa, where'd he go?